السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما اللهم فقهنا في الدين اللهم آمين Dear children, how are you all doing today? We hope that you all are in the best state of Iman and health. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you all protected and grant you all the goodness of both worlds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you all to learn and understand the Quran and to follow the Quran in your lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose you for his deen, for his religion. Allahumma ameen. In today's lesson, we will learn that we shouldn't pick and choose from the commands that Allah has given to us. Instead, we should follow all the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So first, let us do the what to translation of ayah number 86 of Surah Al-Baqarah. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim Ula'ika, those Alladheena are the ones who Ishtarawu bought al hayata the life al dunya of the world bil akhirati for the year after fala so not yukhaffafu will be lightened anhum for them al azabu the punishment wala and not whom they yunsuruna will be helped now the running translation of this ayah bismillah rahman rahim أولئك الذين اشتروا الحياة الدنيا بالآخرة فلا يخفف عنهم فلا يخفف عنهم العذاب ولا هم ينصرون Such are those who have bought the life of the world in exchange for the year after. So the punishment will not be lightened from them nor will they be helped. Now for a moment, let us think about this. If we have money, we can buy things, right? But if we don't have money, how can we buy our stuff? And if this person wants to help someone in need, then how can he do so? Because he himself doesn't have money, right? So in this case, Whatever abilities, whatever skills we have, we will utilize those for the sake of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed different people with different things. Like some people have more money, some people are more talented and skilled, some of them has a lot of time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given barakah in their time. So each one of us are blessed in different ways. So over here, we are asked to use these blessings for the sake of Allah, in the way of Allah, not against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning, using these blessings to gain the pleasure of Allah in the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what happens when this person dies? When this person leaves the world, he would enter Jannah. He would enjoy all the blessings of Jannah. He will be very happy in Jannah. Right? Now let us think of the other side. Consider a person who has these abilities, the skills, the wealth, the time. But he doesn't use it for the sake of Allah. He doesn't use it for the deen of Allah. But instead... He only uses it for this worldly life. So what does this show? This shows that they don't believe in the hereafter, first of all, right? 
they don't believe that they will be made alive after death that they will be questioned about their deeds secondly even if they believed in the hereafter they had a weak iman they were more worried about this world than about the hereafter they did not care about earning halal or haram or doing halal or haram things they did what they felt like doing so the people who cheated robbed killed people for the sake of gaining the worldly desires they basically exchanged the year after for this dunya they exchanged something that is eternal for something that is going to end soon here in this ayah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about jews the bani israel allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded them but they obeyed only some of those commands and they disobeyed a lot of them it is said that they will always stay in punishment because of this now let us learn the explanation of this ayah in parts ulaika allazina ishtaru alhayat ad-dunya bil akhirati they are those who bought the life of this world in exchange for the hereafter now let us learn about these people who were they and why did they not prepare for the hereafter why they did not do good deeds which would benefit them in the hereafter instead these people they came together only for the benefits of this world in the times of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam There used to be three types in the city of Medina. Banu Quraiza, Banu Nadir, and Banu Qaynuqa. All these three tribes used to fight amongst themselves, kill each other, rob each other, and force each other out of their homes. They also used to force them out of their cities and countries, although it was not allowed to do so. After this, they used to give ransom and free these people and allow them back in their home by doing this they used to think that they have done a good deed of freeing someone they thought that they had obeyed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they had obeyed the commands in torah about freeing the prisoners allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that this is not a good deed because they are not obeying the commands of allah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that they have bought the life of this world in exchange for the hereafter they obeyed the commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the torah which they felt like and they disobeyed the other commands they had been commanded not to fight with their own people but they fought and they killed each other they were told not to force each other out of their homes but they did that too therefore they obeyed only the certain commands which they felt easy and they did not follow the other orders of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they did not obey the other commands of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this ayah fala yukhaffafu anhum al-'adhab wa la hum yunsarun their penalty shall not be lightened or shall they be helped following some commands of allah meaning obeying allah in some things and then disobeying in other things taking what is convenient and doing those things and whatever commands of allah makes you uncomfortable or the commands that are hard for you to follow leaving them aside will take the person to jahannam such a person is dishonored and disgraced not only in this world but in the year after such a person will face the severest of punishment of the hell fire and will be refused the blessings of the jannah his punishment will not be decreased neither will he get any break or pause in his punishment such people will not be helped by anyone 
in this world, we have so many people around us, our family, our parents, our siblings, our friends, who can help us in the times of difficulty. But in the year after, we will not be helped by anyone. Therefore, my dear children, what did you learn today? First, we have to understand the lessons given to us in this Quran, which, mashallah, you all are doing great. You are learning the meaning of the ayat, understanding the explanation of the ayat, and inshallah, you will definitely act upon the lessons learned from these ayat. So we have to learn and understand and act upon the lessons. That is the most important thing we learned today. We have to learn the seerah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have to follow his sunnah and become like him. We have to follow all his sunnahs. And may Allah give you all the opportunity and ability to do so. Allahumma ameen. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.